When we got there, it was hell. The rad scorpion corpse we found outside of the cave was horrifying. Massive claws the size of my torso, the stinger the size of my body, and its whole abdomen able to probably crush my windpipe if it even sat on me. Its arachnid eyes lifelessly staring into the desert wind. It was just a sign of what to expect once we came across a living one. I was shivering. My sweat turned cold. My eyes bulged. My lips were dry. My teeth were stabbing the inside of my mouth. I wanted to run. I wanted to puke. I wanted to scream. Ian slapped me. Said to focus. And that he had my back. I took a deep breath. Taking this random man's word for it. Trusting him with my life. I stepped inside. As soon as we stepped in, we saw the remains of some horned creature. I almost mistook it for a kangaroo, but clearly kangaroos wouldn't exist anymore, let alone exist here in America on the west coast. Either way, Ian just snapped me out of it and we kept going through. The fact that these rat scorpions even devour mammals that big. It still has me reliving it in my mind, with my heart pounding. I readied my gun, and I followed Ian's exact instructions with these almost military hand signals. He then spotted one of them, massive, crawling on these almost plate armor legs, the very sound of it crunching and snapping on remains and skeletal bones. I, my hands shook as I aimed, and uh, Ian pushed me by snapping in my ear. Shoot! So I did. I missed. And then the snapping of its legs instantly grew loud as its multiple eyes stared through my soul. It got close and close within seconds, almost like the speed of a bullet whizzing at my head. The stinger rose above and was about to gore me. And then Ian shot it. Bang, bang, bang. I kept trying to shoot too, but every time I shot, I was... I wasn't even staring, trying to aim. I just was pulling the trigger wildly. Almost like it was just a button to press away a, a sequence, a program, and a script. Almost like it was a magic wand that would make me wake up from this nightmare if I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling that trigger. I must have wasted six fucking bullets hitting nothing. Eventually, I heard a very distinct gurgle of the creature. Such an unnatural sound, I can't even recreate it if I tried. I opened my eyes, and it laid dead in a vial of its blood. Ian, without hesitation, quickly whistled over for me and gave me a knife. He whispered to cut the stinger while he kept watch, and that he would instruct me while keeping eyes peeled in case other scorpions would come barreling through by the sounds of the gunshots. I did so, very crudely, trying to stab through its chitin armor. It was horrible. Every crack and sound, the slime. Eventually, I got the stinger off. And we bolted, back to town, for Raslo to create the concoction. When we got there at Raslo's, his eyes bulged wide open, seeing me carry the big ol' stinger and slamming it on his table. Zian casually told Raslo about what we were doing and how we got involved because of Eridesh. Raslo got to work immediately. 
He said that this concoction would take about two hours. And that the proper use of such an anti-venom would be immediate after being stung. As he recommended for us to wait around town within those two hours, Ian would whistle over for me to meet him at the guardhouse. He talked in great length about what happened there at the caves, and how I could have bettered myself in combat. There was a part of me that felt embarrassed, felt like I was being patronized too, but... But at the same time, this man had quadrupled the experience I even had stepping outside into this wasteland. Violence was basically his first language, and death was probably his second. Above all else, I needed a man like him out here. A man that could teach me the ropes of how to survive, and how to endure all the hardships I'm going to need to have in order to even get my ass into Vault 15. He boiled down everything I did wrong as essentially fear overcoming me and not even giving it a chance to stare it right in the face. Of course, to someone like him, it was like reciting his ABCs. But to me, I just couldn't fathom what the fuck he meant so casually about how to stare at something like that in the face and pull the trigger. It basically just ended the conversation with his tactic for me, which is to be live bait. I of course wanted to squirm, run away, scream, call him a fucking psycho, but he then oh so lovingly reminded me why I'm here and why I came to him. Knowing I had no other options, he wolfishly smiled at me and told me that this is just how it's going to have to work. Yeah. We waited, we got the concoction, and then, sure enough, we went back to Seth and we went back to the caves. The repetition of Ian using me as bait where those critters, those giant fucking scorpions kept crawling at me with their stingers and claws ready to rip me to shreds. I nearly pissed myself waiting for Ian to miss just one shot for those scorpions to actually just tear into my flesh. Somehow, some way, it never happened. Because Ian, with all of his bravado and wasteland badassery, was actually able to land every shot possible. Bang, bang, bang. And all I could do as each scorpion fell is just look in disbelief. Because of how much it just kept going on and on and on, by the time we cleansed the entire cave, I must have just sat there staring at one of the rat scorpion's lifeless insectoid body until Ian just kicked dirt right in my face as a cue to get up. And when I did, Ian just joked with me, asking if I was keeping score. I didn't know what to say. In any other circumstance, I could have laughed it off with him, at least to try and make it less awkward, but... I mean, fuck! We killed how many of these horrifying monstrosities? And all he could do was joke? How does someone get so desensitized to this, even if they were born here all their life in this wasteland? It's... How do you not just want to break down in tears? How do you not want to just crawl into a ball? Either way... He made a note for us to go to each body and repeat the same process we did before when we took a stray to Raslo. And for about what felt like hours, we cut off each stinger, put it in Ian's bag, and went back to town to announce somehow, in some way, that we killed off all those rat scorpions. As soon as we got back, Eridesh was standing out with the guards, Katrina and Seth. And like a magic trick, Ian just took from the backpack all the stingers and plopped them on the ground in front of him. And that made Eridesh almost giddy like a child, raving and cheering up and down, running up to me and blessing me for cleansing the Rat Scorpion Cave. It was endearing, heartwarming. He said, 
We must celebrate, Wanderer, for your victory here has saved my people so much from grief and strife. And so, Eridesh almost ordered Ian and I to take hold in the guardhouse while they figure out a way to celebrate our victory. Ian just whispered in my ear, See what happens when you sell your services? And he walked off right into the house. What a strange world. Where less than a week, this guy could have easily suspected the worst. But now, I'm a savior to Shady Sands? I just don't get it. Maybe I shouldn't try. <sighs> oh well. <laughs>